everyone, welcome back to Channel Global. Right now, we have arrived at Shaolin Temple, which is over 1,000 kilometers away from our home, Shanghai. It is famous for being the first temple in the world, and it is also the best place of Shaolin martial arts. Here, we can not only experience the Kung Fu training, but also watch the Kung Fu show as well. Are you ready to start our journey today? I'm so excited about that. Let's go. This is just 9 o'clock and we can see that a lot of people have gathered here and uh, we have arrived at the front gate of Shaolin Temple which is a temple have a history of over 1,500 years and it is a temple which is simple and sophisticated as we can see there is a plaque which was written by the Kangxi Emperor of Qing Dynasty and on the top of the plaque was the stem of the Kangxi Emperor do you want to see what's inside of the temple? Let's go! Can you see the tree in front of us? It is a tree which is as old as this temple, which is over 1,500 years old. And can you see the hairs on the surface of the tree? They are all caused by the fingers of the uh, martial monks of this temple. Uh, they use this kind of um, finger exercise to strengthen the muscle of their fingers so that it could support their body and they can do the gestures like the upside down. You might never have heard of this kind of Kung Fu training. I'm going to show you now. I'm going to use two of my fingers to hit the tree. Oh, it's quite hard. They would use long time, years over years, to make the two holes, to make the holes on the tree. This is so painful. I can't imagine how long they have, have taken to make the holes on the tree. Oh, you can see that my finger is getting red. It's so painful. After entering the temple, we can see that there are a lot of mystical creatures inside of the temple. And this one is the largest one. It is called Bi Xi, which is the son of the dragon. Uh, when you are touching the head and the nose of these uh, creatures, it would bring you good fortune and wealth as well. And uh, additionally, another mystical creatures, which is called Pi Xiu, it is famous for its um, biological creatures it has the mouth but it do not have the anus which means it can eat the gold but it cannot digest it out it means uh, you are going to have a lot of fortune if you have one in your home and you can touch the nose of this pixel and it will bring you a lot of wealth Can you notice the lotus on the floor? There is a story about those lotus. When the Buddha just come to the earth, every step of the Buddha will come out one lotus. And there is some lotus seeds in the center of the lotus. And uh, there's another story about those seeds. There are 33 layers in the sky. So the lotus has 33 seeds in the center of it. The Great Buddha's Hall is the main hall of Shaolin Temple because of the traditional rules, the inner space of the uh, Great Buddha's Hall is not allowed to um, take photos. If you are interested in Chinese Kung Fu, you must come in person to visit it. And if you have any kind of wish, you can pray here with those joysticks. There are some manners while you are trying to pray for yourself and your uh, relatives, your parents, and um, for example, while you are holding the um, joysticks, your front hand, your left hand must be on the top of your right hand, and while your, um, the three candles are uh, are lighted, uh, you must um, bounce towards four directions for three times each. And I'm going to pray for myself and my parents. After 
after eight minutes, we are going to watch a Kung Fu show by the martial monks of this temple. And the tickets for this show is 30 RMB for one person. Let's see if it is worth it. This is the most memorable moment of the whole day. I just watched the Shaolin March performance and their bodies are so soft, so light and so stable. It seems that they could overcome the gravity. Every time while they are doing some movements, I could feel that the energy is flowing inside of their body and around their body. If you like this performance, please like and subscribe our channel. And this is just one spot of our journey today. If you want to know more about Chinese Kung Fu, let's go. Behind me, it is the Pagoda Forest. Um, the Pagoda Forest occupies 14,000 square meters, which is the largest Pagoda Forest in China. And every Pagoda is a funeral of a Grand Master. And there are 248 Pagodas inside of the Pagoda Forest, which means there are 248 Grand Masters are resting there. And you can see on the top of the stone are some pictures. It is the portrait of those Grand Masters. And uh, standing inside of the pagoda forest, I could feel a sense of tranquility and respectful. That may be because it is a place that those grandmasters rest. We are on the ropeway to the San Huang Zai, which is another spot our, of our journey today. As you can see, around us are all the mountains. Uh, they are all belong to the Songshan Song Mountain, which is one of the five mountains in China. And a Song Mountain, including three main mountains, including the Shao Shi Mountain, Tai Shi Mountain, and the Zhongyue. And um, if you want to visit China and you want to hiking, this would be a good choice for you. Okay, we nearly reached the top of the mountain already and there is the San Huang Temple which is on the other side of the mountain and we are going to uh, hike for about 7 kilometers to reach that temple and we are going to get started. Let's go! So dangerous! If you are afraid of the height, I think you cannot go on this way.
thousand years later. Okay, we are on the halfway of our hiking today, and my heartbeat has reached 170 today, and we still have a long way to go. It seems that the San Juan Temple is so close to us, but actually, we still have three kilometers to go. And we hope that the view of that San Juan Temple won't disappoint us. And right now, I'm going to shout to the opposite mountain to say if there's anybody would respond to me. Wow! After three hours of climbing, we finally reached the San Juan Temple, which is located at the top of the Song Mountain. And it was used for the monks to exercise and meditate, but it was only the ruins are remained um, because it was destroyed hundreds of years ago. And the way that we choose is for people who like climbing mountains and hiking. But if you don't like to exercise or climbing mountain, you can choose another way to go. There is another choice if you don't like hiking. Starting from the Shaolin Temple, you can take the shuttle bus to Chuzu Temple, which was built in Qing Dynasty to memorize an Indian Grandmaster Da Mo. And the next stop would be Da Mo Cave, which was a place for Da Mo to teach Buddha to follow us. There was a story that a follower volunteered to cut one arm to receive Da Mo teaching. This is the last challenge of our journey today, the Hira Slope, which contains about 500 steps of stairs. And let's see how long we will take to finish this challenge. Let's go. Imagine how tired we are. Imagine how tired we are. This is the end of our journey today. As you can see, the sky is getting dark. And the most memorable for me today is a 30 minute Kung Fu performance and a three hour of hiking. And another thing that I want to mention is that people there are quite enthusiastic and talkative. While we are hiking, when we meet people, they would encourage us. And every time we book a taxi, they would share the information about the, the city. However, if you do not have the habit of working out and exercise, this routine may not be a good choice for you. And if you want to know what routine would be best for you, please contact us. And if you like our video, please like and subscribe. Bye bye, see you in the next video.